What is up guys and of course welcome to another top 5 video from yours truly, The Scarendrew. And today I have a very different video and something I've actually done a year before. Uh, and this is actually a top 5 battle mechanics video I want to see introduced in Sun and Moon. Now obviously I made it in the past, I made a top 10 and a much broader substance. But this time I'm feeling that this is uh, balance issues I really want to be see solved as this game is introduced. Now obviously this is just a wish list and there are no speculation or anything like that. This is just things I want to see, things I hope would come to fruition for many reasons. But the biggest reason for me of course seeing this is that this would solve um, a series of things that are not as balanced as of right now. So with all this said, let's get into the list. And the first one we're going to mention is of course, and I do believe you guys will agree, a brace or a buff in a hail environment. Now as the game is right now, hail is, to be all sense and purposes said, it is like sandstorm but not like Sandstorm. It definitely doesn't really benefit any ice type of any substance or whatsoever. So the thing I want to see, and I can't stress this enough, um, I want to see that every ice type in Hail get a stat boost, much like Sand does, uh, but instead of 50% boost in special defense, get the boost in their defenses, because usually uh, ice type are a bit weak on defensive side, not mentioning <laughs> Ava Lug. But with all that said, that's something I really want to see. And I want to see introduction of, of course, new abilities, much like um, the Sand already has before, Sand Force and Sand Rush. I want to see I-Type getting this kind of environment. I would love to see Glacian getting, for example, um, Hail of Rush or something like that to solve its kind of bad uh, speed. And it would be becoming a bit more, um, a bit better with that in mind. Uh, to be honest, and I don't know if I should go even further. I had written down that I really want to see reduction of super effective damage, maybe instead of a buff in uh, its um, defenses, which would make all the kind of sense too. But just in general, fix the hail system, make this a viable um, weather comfort, because of right now it's just it's an annoyance and is actually really bad out of a competitive standpoint at least. The next thing up was, first of all, an item, a new item introduced that was gonna work as Magic Guard, but I take that back, because as I was scripting this, I do realize that Magic Guard, besides actually taking off hazard damage, which was my primal uh, idea with it, it also nullifies the light of burn and, and toxic, so I feel that that would make that power a bit more broken, to be honest, and obviously that would make the likes of Chansey, or actually Blissey, quite dangerous. So not nullifying um, has, or not nullifying uh, the likes of status, but definitely what I want to see is something that nullifies hazard damage. That would solve a lot of Pokemon's issue. That wouldn't make them a lot better, but it would make them less sustainable for the issue in mind. Of course, like Articuno and Volcarona would be slightly more usable. You would not be forced to use a spinner if you only have one mon or two weak to this kind of environment. So an item that nullifies hazards is something I really want to see. I think that would solve uh, a few things with this game because there are so many mods that are bug flying that suffer a whole lot. They're not as good, of course they're not, but forcing them to be using focus sashes because they want to sustain themselves, I feel that that's, it's not bad, but there are things they can do better and it would be nice constructing a team with not a spinner or defaulter in mind with that very reason. And of course, with that said, my number three pick is Make the move mist like defog. Now, this might come as a surprise, but as you guys know, a mist is not the most or really is not a good move at all. It's an ice move introduced in Gen 1, and uh, it only makes sure that no uh, stat, stat cuts are being accessible to you for five turns. Being the likes of, for example, Screech. Intimidate. In all general, it's quite a bad move. Now, what if Mist could actually make sure to remove, like, um, yeah, like Defog, basically, remove hazards. Uh, it would not be as punishing for the contrary use that you could be facing. And at the same time, it would open up for a plethora of new possible Defoggers. Um, I'm gonna mention the mods that are worth mentioning, I guess. Um, we have in Mewtwo on that list. 
I'm just saying. Uh, but also, or actually, I can just mention all of them. All, most of these mods are ice based, which means that they are extremely weak to hazard from beginning. But we have a few options that are not weak to hazard, which makes them kind of nice. Uh, so we got Lapras, Articuno, Mewtwo, Quagsire, uh, Mamoswine, Sukune, um, what do you call it? Lodicolo, Pelipper, of course, uh, Masquerain, Waylord, Altaria, um, Empoleon, um, Obama Snow, Cresselia, Vanillux, Aurorus, and Volcanion. And also Triogonal. So a few of these already are possible defaults and spinner, but not all of them. And of course, we should mention the mods that actually becomes a bit more unique. Uh, Polybracket access to this, Lantern, uh, Politoed, let's see, we got a few more. Mylodic, um, Seismitoad, uh, Jellicent, and Almamola, which also would be a great mods to use as a possible well hazard removal. So like I said, there's a lot of mods, a few of these are water types already, which means that a few of these already got access to the likes of Defog, but it would make at least a bit more sense to have another move that could be benefiting from actually remove hazards. I really believe that as of right now, it still is kind of restrictive. It's not as punishing as it was in Gen 5, but it is actually still really hard to make this effect effective. Um, so Mist or at least some other move that are not as useful that are weather based in some fashion, for a possible hazard removal, and I think Mist is the best uh, candidate for just that. A change of the freeze mechanic. Um, before going into this more deeply, uh, obviously I have to really thank Ellis and Rob, which are good friends and very very good ballers in general, uh, to patching this through me or actually suggesting this, and they actually been thinking about how you could solve the possible issue of, of course, um, the freeze turns. As a freeze working right now, obviously there's always a small chance, I do believe it's 10%, and once you're freeze, you only have a 10% chance of actually falling out, obviously, uh, with a fire move or scald, you would break through out of it, but other than that, you actually are a sitting duck. Uh, in a competitive battle, that's actually a big issue, um, and as I play, of course, hyper offensively, that is a no-can-do, I mean, I'm, I rarely use a cleric scald, yes, possibly, but that's about it, so it's a definitely a big issue. And the only change I can see with freezes would be to make it a set amount of turn instead of a chance of falling out. If it works much like sleep does, that would probably solve the balance issue as of right now, or the chance issue, I guess you'd say about it. Now, it still doesn't solve the complete freeze issue, you still don't have any move, for example, like sleep talk to kind of uh, work around it, but I still believe that this is probably the best way of dealing with it. And hopefully that's a pretty small change that in the end would make at least freeze a bit more tolerable and not as bad of a status change as it is up right now. My number one pick is something I really burn for and something I really really is bothered by that it hasn't happened and that is actually a physical based uh, side shock or secret sword that hitting on the special defensive side. Uh, obviously we got the opposite, um, we actually got two moves which hit on the um, special oriented side on the defensive. Uh, which is, it's nice, it makes a lot of special sweepers or special attackers a bit more flex flexible for the heavily special defensive mon. Now, we haven't ups it, and obviously, this move should be restrictive, much like the Psyshock is. Psyshock is mostly two, of course, uh, psychic Pokemons for stab, which of course will only be an AD with stab being 120. I think there's a fair power to that move, and I would see um, the opposite side of this move being just as strong or weak, depending on how you see it but also as restrictive to fire mods, with a few, of course, um, differentials. I do believe a few fairy mods can learn Psyshock too, so probably Dark type getting access to this or something like that. Just, it should be restrictive. It should be um, a, a splashable move um, to make more balance. And obviously, the mods I see getting this move would definitely be the mods such as Polyrath. And like I said, all fighting types in general, but Polyrath would probably uh, like this move a lot more than most others, and of course the mods like Medicham, for example, would be hit on the special defensive side with its pure power boost. Which it would make that mod pretty darn nasty. Um, so yeah, I think that's a pretty fair way of seeing it. I don't believe, or I don't see why it hasn't happened before, because it, it's not a balance issue, but it would make sure that physical sweeper are not as restrictive. Um, they're still good today, a lot of them are very very good at keeping themselves afloat, but 
not being forced to go mixed and hit hard is something I really want to see and I think it would be fair for the meta too to see something like that. So yeah, that's the list. Now obviously here, those 5 battle mechanics could be actually been some to 4 changes to freezes I want to see and a real change I actually do want to see. Um, Ice Pokemon obviously being nerfed from Gen 1 basically and uh, Stealth Rock is still a big deal for a lot of months. Those things are the, what I want to see. Uh, it's it's not a balanced issue, but it would make a lot more Pokemon viable and it would make team building a lot less restrictive as of right now. And uh, yeah, just want to see the development of those changes in mind. And hopefully you guys see something like that too. I really want to know what you guys are thinking. What are battle mechanics you guys want to see in the next installment? Make of course sure to write that down below and I'll respond to them as fast as I can. And thank you of course as always so much for watching this video. It's a bit of a blast of seeing you guys around here just chilling, listening to my beautiful voice. And if you want to see more of 5s and 10, make sure to smash that like button. Yeah, smash it. Um, <laughs> like a punch of a baby. Um, punch from a baby. Hmm. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Thank you so much everyone for watching, and i see you in the next video. Until then guys, take care. Bye.